Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is your host, the Spaz Devil, and this is my beginner's guide to tick manipulation training for idiots. Now you are here because you have heard of tick manipulation, three tick fishing, three tick mining, all of that good stuff. You've heard streamers talk about it and all sorts, but you do not need to be a sweaty nerd to understand what tick manipulation is, what ticks are, how they work. I see certain content creators talk about ticks religiously and how you can't be good at the game unless you count and understand ticks. These, these people are not counting ticks, okay? They understand how the game works, sure, but it's more of a visual thing and it's really, really simple and I'm just gonna explain as effectively, efficiently, brain dead as possible without overcomplicating this guide and throwing in loads of unnecessary crap. This is just gonna show you how to do tick manipulation for fishing, for mining, and just explaining what it is these people are talking about and how easy it is to actually wrap your head around it. Now, do you ever see content creators or streamers with this flashing bar going across their prayer orb at the top of the screen? Well, this can be turned on in RuneLight with the Prayer RuneLight plugin. Now, what this represents is a game tick. The game essentially runs at 100 beats per minute, and different actions in the game happen on specific ticks, like clockwork, and everything in the game is completely synced up together. Again, you don't need to understand this, I'm just explaining what it is and how it works. First, I'm going to show you how to do tick manipulation fishing. And for this, you are going to need some swamp tar, a pestle and mortar. You're going to need a barbarian fishing rod, some fishing bait, ideally a herb sack, and I'll explain why in a minute. And you are going to need one clean Haralander herb. Now we use the herb sack because we can store additional grimy herbs. Now you do need a clean Haralander in order to do this method. So all you need to do is you need to bring a Haralander herb into your inventory, as you can see here clean this one herb and then put all the rest of them back into your herb sack. Really, really simple. We do this because if you accidentally mess up this method, and it is very easy, you shouldn't really be messing it up, but it means that you'll have additional herbs on you because you will essentially use up that herb if you mess up. So it's good to have spares. That's why most people do tick manipulation with herbs and coal tar. Now, while our character is actually fishing, the game will decide whether or not we catch a fish on the fifth tick only on every fifth tick which means that if you stand there you'll notice there is a set speed to how fast you can possibly fish so if you're getting a 100 catch rate it will always be five ticks apart now if you have a look at my character's bobbing movements as he's fishing perfectly synced up to the ticks of the game so you will see he will catch a fish every time he bobs five times now what's happening when we use a herb on the swamp tar in the most simple way of putting this is you are forcing the game to skip ahead on ticks. It's using up certain ticks for a certain action and then you can go straight into another action without having a delay. You don't need to think about it. I don't care if you understand it or not. I'm just showing you step by step how to do it. So let's do some tick fishing. All you need to do is use your swamp tar on the herb to start the animation of the pestle and mortar in your character's hands. As soon as that animation starts, you click on the fishing spot and it is effectively going to shortcut you and be able to catch a fish straight away. All you need to do is repeat this process every time you catch a fish and boom, you now know how to do three tick fishing without some silly overcomplicated guide explaining a, mil a million things for you. Okay, so next we're going to talk about three tick granite mining, which is a particularly sweaty, disgusting mining method. It's not something that I do, but I'm just going to show you how it works. Now you can get to the granite mining spot in the middle of the desert. I'm going to show you on the world map where it is. There's multiple different ways to get there. I use the camulus and go through the temple way, which is really annoying, but I'll let you guys figure that out in your own time. Or you can get the ferry over from Al Karid, which is a really easy way to get there. Or you can get a carpet ride nearby from the Shanty Pass whatever doesn't matter i'm assuming if you're coming here to do three tick mining you are not going to touch grass for a very long time so you're probably you probably don't need that many methods to get here and get back once you're here you're here one item i will 100 percent recommend is the circlet of water which you get after the beneath cursed sands quest you wear it and it means that you take no damage from the desert once you get to the granite mine you're going to go south and i have highlighted these four particular rocks for you these are the ones that everybody uses when you are doing three tick mining we're going to be using the exact same stuff as before the only thing that's changed is whether or not you're wearing the prospectors and obviously the circlet of water is kind of a must if you want to do this really efficiently 
and cost effective. So when we are mining, again, there is a set time between actions that will allow you to essentially mine a piece of granite. What we're gonna do is the same thing as before. We're gonna click the rock, and as soon as you see the XP drop, okay, that means you've mined a piece of granite. You're going to use your swamp tar with your herb together. So it's good to click the rock, have the swamp tar ready highlighted, and then click on your herb as soon as you see it. And then you have to very quickly click to the next rock. It is incredibly click intensive. I suck at it to be completely honest with you. But it's again, it's a very visual thing. You're just looking at those XP drops. Now, you will only see a massive benefit to this when you're at a higher mining level, when you're sort of 75 to 85 and above. It's very much an end game mining method in my opinion, because unless, until you get to a really high mining level, you're still gonna, you know, not mine the rock immediately. But when you're getting immediate mines, you know, when you're a higher level, you're gonna see this as being a much faster technique. You're gonna get upwards of 130,000 mining XP an hour. It's basically double what you're gonna get from the mother load mine or any other methods that you're going to be using. Basically just do this in the order that you can see me doing it on the video. I literally came here for 10 minutes to do this video and I already wanted to kill myself halfway through this. So if you wanna do this for maximum XP, by all means, all power to you. But in a nutshell, you now know how to do three tick fishing and three tick mining, brain dead guide. I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, and you want to suggest some more videos for me to make very, very poor quality content for you guys, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you on the next one.